Hello and welcome to this lecture. So now with the infrastructure up and running, we are ready to configure the HA or the high availability cluster. So let's see how we do that. It's actually very simple when, uh, when you know how to do it. So first go to system, then navigate to HA. And if you go uh, through Fortinet documentation, you will see that there are some strict requirements that, uh, that need to be, to be followed. So first of all, Instead of standalone, I will select active passive and then I, I should have uh, this priority, let's say bigger than the other one. So I will say 250 and the other one, I don't know, 100 or something like that. Now, in terms of requirements, I should define a group name. So I will name it HA and define also a password and I will click this I in order to be visible. So let's say Fortinet and also heartbeat interfaces remember we have configured in gns3 to have port 3 and 4 so i'm now clicking on the plus sign selecting also port 3 and also very important we have to have the same heartbeat interface priority and not uh, basically not uh, all values are good so i'm clicking this and putting exactly 50 for both of them at this moment, I will click OK and wait for the, um, the firewall to initiate and appear in the HA. So now basically it's transforming itself from standalone, from the standalone mode going to active passive, waiting for cluster data. Now it says connection to the FortiGate was lost temporarily. You may need to refresh the current page. So I will click refresh. And here it is. Our first Fortinet firewall, the FortiGate VM64 in this case. Uh, with a priority of 250. This is the host name, very important. Serial number, the role is master, uptime and uh, number of sessions and throughput. So at this point, we should move to the second one and configure to, to be the same in the same HA cluster. So if I ping now 192.168.100.253, it will respond. So this is the second FortiGate. But immediately, immediately after I configure it to be part of the same HA cluster, remember we have talked about it in a previous lecture, it will not respond to this IP. So configuration will get synchronized and as soon as it's needed, it will take over the master role in order to forward traffic from the LAN to the internet and back. And I will now log in, so admin. So here is the interface. We will now navigate to system, then go to HA. And now let's do the same for this second 48 firewall. So instead of standalone, we will change it to active passive. And let's say, well, the device priority is smaller than the other one, so it's fine. Let's say for the group name, the same HA, change the password to be the same. Again, I have used the I to see that I'm typing correctly, so 40 net. Add another heartbeat interface here, so port 3. Now set the priority of port 3 to be the same, like 50. So using the keyboard now to be exactly on 50. And now I will click OK. It should now not respond once, uh, it, uh, once it joins the cluster, it should now not respond when I try to ping it. So request timeout. Let's go now to the first 40 gate firewall. And now let's do a refresh. Here it is. So now we have a master. This is the master role. And we have also a slave priority 250, the configured priority. And the other one, it's 128. So your session is about to time out. I will extend the session. 
So again, so we have the, the green tick, 250, this is the priority, the other default one, 128, 48, 1, the host name, and 48, 2. And these host names are very important as in the next lecture we will do the failover, so I will power off the first 48 in order for the uh, for the traffic to go through 48 2 and as, again this uh, these host names will be handy because we will see here when connecting to this IP address so 254 that it will say 48 2 meaning that the second 48 will take over the master role and forward traffic uh, to the internet and back uh, of the LAN users so thank you for your time and see you in the next lecture